C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Zvixemor, my name is Ars88 and today as you can see we are still <laughs> on the caves, on the city, uh, trying to gather some more treasure and uh, you know this is like the fourth episode we've been down here and I think uh, it may be getting like a little bit old for you to watch me do the same thing so I figured I will finish exploring all this place on my own and maybe I will show you like the interesting bits that I found uh, once I finish doing that. Um, so yeah, I will do some cave exploration on the outsides of this. I will try and gather all of the treasure that I found, that I can find, and then I'll show you uh, all of my findings as well. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is more like a quick introduction just for you to know that I will be uh, a few hours uh, on this on this city like exploring all of these bits and maybe if I find something really really interesting I will show you very quickly before we continue with this episode so yeah uh, I'll see you all in a moment Alright, so this is the first uh, chamber that I find that it's actually quite different. As you can see, uh, well, first of all, I've already cleaned up like all of the area. Here was like... For a moment I thought I was a shrieker. Oh my god. Here it was full, actually full of, you know, here for example you can see a lot of sensors. And there was like a lot of sensors as well over here. I found a little bit of a chest here. I will show you the um, treasure that I have found uh, at the end of the episode, I think. But yeah, once I once I reached these stairs, uh, it seemed like a little bit uh, weird. There's ice down here, and there's a chest down there. And when I stumbled upon this, I actually didn't uh, realize that there was like a, a a button here with some note blocks so I just went like this curiously this one doesn't sound but this one does and there's like a hole here and there's another one here which opens a trapdoor right and I found I, I, I found that actually quite interesting I, I haven't seen anything like that well, I didn't even know that that was a, a concept of a room. So I think I just... I will just drop down. Oh, there's a stair! Oh, so this is something like a fridge or something? Like with all the eyes and all that stuff? And what is this? Oh, why can I use it? Oh. There you go. You can open it from down there. Okay. 
It is a fridge. Snowball, suspicious to bake it potato, pack dice, and another snowball. Well, I mean, to be honest, I do not need the bake it potato, but the suspicious too, though, and the pack dice, though. So let's let's just leave this for any other person that comes around. And as you can see, I've actually uh, been using as well uh, some new tools. I changed uh, my pickaxes for diamond hose because I realized it was way quicker for me to destroy the um, the blocks uh, of skulk with the hose instead of, uh, of my pickaxes. For example, this is this is what happens when I use the hoe. And on the other hand, I crafted some night vision potions because, yeah, look at this. Just look at the difference, right? This is this is the place that I've been playing on right now. And then, boom. I'm sorry I didn't realize I could do this before. I think it would have been pretty good for you guys to see more easily what I was doing. But yeah. <laughs> And I've been pondering if I would like to destroy this or if I should just like leave it. I think for now I will just leave it because it's interesting to have like the whole structure. And since my plan is on the real fire future to rebuild all the city and make it my own, I think I think I will leave it like this. But yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys, so I guess I'll continue on exploring and I'll show you if I find anything interesting like this. So I'll see you in a moment. Thank you. Alright, so we are finally done. It took a lot of time, but we're done. It was so stressful. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> now, it was actually quite fun. Uh, I've, I haven't uh, yet uh, explored the, um, the mineshaft back there, but I decided this is, uh, this is a good spot for me to begin. And I will do so maybe in between episodes because yeah, I mean this is like a more uh, a more common structure to for me to to explore. But currently I am actually on the middle of the city, uh, and I mean on because I'm like sitting on top of it, right? This is uh, the huge portal thingy, and I have uh, explored. I think all the nooks and crannies of the city <laughs> so far and uh, yeah it was it was quite a profitable exploration session uh, tons of uh, new materials and new stuff that I didn't know existed and yeah uh, I've gotten rid of all of the shriekers and all of the sensors and maybe we will use them uh, for decoration or maybe some other stuff uh, but yeah, one thing that I that I still have to uh, uncover here is I remember there's supposed to be like a redstone chamber or something like that below this place. And now that's like uh, one of those things that I haven't really figured out. I mean, I see there's like these four lamps. I don't know if you can actually like get them turned on at the same time, which is why I'm struggling a little bit. So what I thought maybe I could do is actually use uh, some of the... Oh! Did you guys hear that? What? I hear pistons. Oh, that wasn't here. That wasn't here before. Oh, so this is the mechanic. Oh. Okay, so yeah, this was the place I was talking about. And I think this is like a redstone tutorial kind of chamber. Or at least that's what I remember hearing about what when this update came out although I don't see any actual redstone here 
Oh, there we go. So what is this? Oh, so it's just a way to show you, like, if you have a redstone output here, then it goes to the repeater, and it can go through another block, power down the line, and then you get uh, your lantern lit up. And in this case, if you use glass as a conducting block, it will not uh, send out the signal. Oh, so we're learning. We're actually learning. <laughs> Okay, and then what? What else do we have? Um, oh, this is carpet. Okay, okay, okay. I thought this was like actual blocks. Um, so here's another one. Oh, let's see. If I shoot this. It sends a signal, and then you can lit up the, the lantern, nice. And then here with the lectern, I think it's supposed to have a book, right? But I think I, I think I know this one. If you if you actually place a book here, and if you interact with it, um, even if it measures uh, the page that you have on the book and I think it will increase the range of the redstone line that it will carry on maybe I'm not sure and then what do we have here again like bas basic stuff or something like that oh maybe this is the mechanism of the Shulker as well. Oh. So what if I actually place a redstone block? Turned on a little bit of things. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, I, I guess this is just like a way to show how redstone signal works and all that stuff. Yeah, that's right. It actually closes the door. And this opens it back. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, I guess I will get out of here. And then, when once I'm back on, the, on my base, I will show you all the loot that we had. But just so you guys uh, get a real good look at this place, I will take my last, well not my last, but so my last here, night vision potion, and let's just do a fly around and just so you guys can appreciate a little bit more of the of the actual city. So it's actually a huge place to be. Hopefully this will record properly on my computer. I really didn't find uh, where we actually... Oh, this is new. This is actually new. I thought it was the spider spawner I found, because I found a spider spawner, of course. Oh, more loot! Golden apple. Nice. Uh, okay, okay. More rotten flesh. Bones and a name tag. Okay, let me see. Where do I have more space? I think here.
It's a really nice encounter, Melon Seeds. Okay, okay, okay. A really nice finding, it's what I meant. But yeah, uh, what I was trying to say is that I really didn't find where we actually got in uh, the city the first time. Um, I haven't looked like thoroughly either, but yeah, I haven't found it yet. So God knows is if I will find it any time soon. Oh, there's more shulkers here. Or more sensors, sorry. I don't think there's any more shriekers because I think I destroyed them all. Nice, level 35. But let's not be... Um, let's be more careful, I think. Maybe it's up there? I'm not sure. No, 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 it's not there. But yeah, the fly around. So this is the main, like... Um, walk away, I mean, I think. That's what it's called. <laughs> A little bit more of sensors that I haven't pulled off. And yeah. It's a huge place. Tons of uh, places more to explore. And yeah, I think I, I will have a lot to work on here. Because my project is to actually kind of restore this place and make an actual city stand here and I think this is my way out so I'll see you on the surface oh and since we're in the surface I actually wanted to show you a little bit of a thing that I found which is quite nice and interesting wait where is there where is there grass blocks here why is there air? Oh, that's weird. That's that's a glitch. That's something. <laughs> well, nothing uh, too weird, I might say. But yeah, I found uh, some little thing here because I found this portal which I actually mentioned a few episodes back. But I also found... I don't know if we will actually be able to see it. Yeah, I also found this. Another ocean temple. Oh my god, that was scary. Another ocean temple. Which we can later come and explore. Of course. So yeah, that's a little bit of uh, something that I wanted to show you. And then... There's the village and my house, of course. There we go. Home sweet home. Nice, nice landing. And so, uh, let's show you the loot. So, I think there's five shulkers that I actually filled up with the things that we found. There are no six shulkers, which is pretty nice. So, the first one has uh, tons of, well, bottle of enchanting, tons of skulk blocks. Uh, 18 disc fragments, which I will actually try and listen. <laughs> I don't know how many uh, blocks do you need. Oh, I can craft two actually. And it's the same, right? Samuel Aber number five. Okay, so I have two, two number five discs. And yeah, the uh, that's uh, one of them, uh, Amethyst Shards, 
bones and well a little bit of junk nine diamonds and then we have uh, of course our white wool which I uh, guess I can store already we found five uh, smithing templates for the ward armor train which I would like to actually place on another set of netherite armor and maybe try and change the look of this one uh, I will try and enchant all of my armor but we'll see we'll see and then a little bit more of bottle of enchantments a golden apple and I th I still don't know what the echo shard do <laughs> uh, skulk sensors bones gold uh, golden iron horse armor a sharpness 3 book two music discs uh, 13 uh, protection iron leggings iron leggings diamond leggings uh, another swift sneak 2 and this little uh, miscellaneous book which has fortune 2 and loyalty 3 soul torches coal and I have uh, this new disc that is uh, other side by Lina Rain and then we also have multi shot swift sneak 3 which I think it's the maximum but I will try and mix uh, I, I have I think two swift sneak ones yeah here's one here's the other two I, I'm gonna try to mix these ones into another two and maybe mix that with the other two I have in the other box and maybe try and mix that with this uh, Swift Sneak Swift Sneak 3 oh my god I'm doing a tongue twister here um, and see if we can actually have a Swift Sneak 4 book just to try and see some diamond hose which actually have pretty decent uh, pretty good um, enchantments a saddle a lot of suspicious too another diamond ho uh, diamond horse armor a uh, potion of regeneration and here we have tons of potions we have three enchanted apples which just just look at this three enchanted apples the rarest item in Minecraft we have three of them <laughs> a lot of diamond horse armor as well and another cat another 13 and another other side so maybe we should um, listen to those and call that an episode I think so let me just quickly craft one uh, recorder well one one uh, disc player I think I need diamond for that and some wood Yeah, here's the jukebox. Uh, let's place it just here. I don't know how much time will the effect of the enchantment last, but I mean, that's no problem. First, let let's listen at five. That is that is creepy. I think it repeats itself, right? Oh no. Still no sounds.
<laughs> well, no wonder why there are so many like um, theories about what this disc is. There's a whole storytelling there. And I mean, I would like to like um, speak about all the all the nooks and crannies of the audio, but there's a lot of people that already have analyzed it. So yeah, I mean, if you Google that, uh, you will find a lot of the in-depth analysis of of the sounds of that. And then we have the last disc, which is uh, "Other Side" by Lena Rain, which is actually one of my favorite music discs <laughs> in the whole Minecraft uh, and yeah I think that's a good note for us to leave the episode I really hope you're enjoying if you and if you are please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel and I'll see you on the next one see ya